It was in January 2011 that the Raptor Rehab Program took center stage outside the Letcher County Cooperative Extension Service office. With a large crowd looking on, a young Golden Eagle was released after recovering from being caught in a live trap. The Eagle was fortunate. It was not injured so badly that it couldn't be released, unlike other birds, which now make the Letcher County Raptor Rehabilitation Center home. These birds are um, uh, unique in the way that they have to be handled. That's why uh, the Fish and Wildlife are just not going to let anyone have these birds. You're, you're not allowed to put them in just any kind of old uh, pen and throw a hot dog weenie into them every now and then. Expect these animals they take special care. And uh, the most important thing about these animals is they are wild animals. It doesn't matter if I keep this guy for 20 years, this animal will never ever become a pet. This is a female red tail hawk. Mitch Whitaker, the Letcher Maintenance Supervisor, is a licensed falconer. The 4-H Raptor Rehab Program is his pet project. Whitaker, along with 4-H agent Jason Brashear, started the Raptor Rehab Program. Brashear saw the program as a way to teach 4-Hers leadership skills and explore career options. It's just a, it's leadership, and that's what we really push in our 4-H program is build leaders and by, by exposing them to different things and see what really fits their niche in life and what they, what they enjoy. So that's one thing. And then careers, we really push the careers in terms of whether it's, it's uh, biology, wildlife biologist, uh, even vets. When the program began taking in so many injured birds, the need quickly arose for a place to put them. In January 2012, the Letcher County Outdoor Education Center was officially opened, which houses the Raptor Rehabilitation Facility, the only one of its kind east of I-75. The birds are taken out in the community for programs or school groups like these kindergartners and civic organizations visit the center to see the birds up close. Even if it's just a school that comes up just to look at them. In order to do this, they're gonna to have to travel three or four hours and try to get to a zoo, but they're still not gonna get as up close and personal as we are, uh, because we can get them and bring them right into your classroom. I love owls. Brashear estimates that about 5,000 children have seen the birds in 2012 alone, and they soon hope to add an outdoor eagle pin to the building. Mitch Whitaker says he is getting to live out a dream while educating the public about these birds of prey. I'm actually uh, getting, uh, getting to live the dream of getting to do my hobby uh, while I'm working. Uh, these animals have uh, taught us as well uh, how, the, how the public needs to know about these animals. These animals share our environment with us. The closest raptor rehabilitation center to Letcher County is two hours away. From the University of Kentucky College of Agriculture, I'm Jeff Franklin reporting.